Hi everybody, welcome back to the award-winning Speed Sport News Center. I'm Derek Pernasiglio. Big news coming out of Oswego Speedway this past week. For the first time since 1952, the track will be covered in dirt as it plays host to Super Dirt Week 45, October 4th through the 9th. We'll have more information on that in the coming weeks, along with Speed Sport's involvement. But for right now, let's check out the Isma Super Modifieds as they ran the 8th Annual King of Wings Championship at Oswego Speedway. Speed Sports' own Dan Kapazinski has the report. Saturday night, Oswego Speedway featured the 8th running of the King of Wings Championship for the Isma Super Modifieds. And starting on the front row, the 76 of Mo Lilji and the 49 of Danny Shirey. Lilji would gain the early edge and then Jimmy Bodnar, number 76. With Lilji and Trent Stevens running away from the field, Mike Lichty in the 84, Dave Schulich Jr., the two hottest tickets at Oswego Speedway in winged action the last few years, started making their moves on the high side of the Speedway. But eventually, it would be Timmy J getting into the fray as well. And the Howie Lano number 97, he works to the top side of the Shirey 49 and move up into the third spot as they charge down into corner number one. Lichty would try to follow suit. But later on, Lilji, who would let all the way up to this point, Began to move in the lap traffic, trying to move to the high side of the 25, and Danny Bowes pushes out. Trent Stevens finds the low lane, races out into the lead in the Acme Racing number 19 machine. Eventually, Lichty would close in on the Lil G76. Schulich trying to chase him down, but look at this. The right side of the top wing on the Shoe Two's machine blows off. Schulich would finish the event, but would drop all the way down to the eighth position. Lichty would eventually get into the runner-up spot, but it was too little too late. Trent Stevens had this one well under control, racing away to his first Oswego Speedway win in seven years to claim his first King of Wings crown over Mike Lichty and Mark Samet in podium position. It was definitely fun. Uh, only took me, geez, seven years to win here again. So, uh, one of my first two shows ever here and then had a real long dry spell. So, glad to kind of get that one back off my back and hopefully we can keep going from here. Uh, the win really affected us all day. I mean, the car had speed, but it wasn't comfortable. Uh, on the initial start, we lost a couple spots and uh, just worked our way back up. But uh, hats off to Trent, Jessica, the whole team. That's uh, that's cool to see them them win. King of Wings usually uh, usually brings a new winner to Oswego. Uh, I know he's won here in MSA before, but uh, I think this one's pretty special for him. No, that was all I had the whole time. We tightened the car just a little too much for the start of the race. I mean, it worked out good for the end, but a little bit too little too late. But uh, no, the car was running great at the end, and uh, too bad we didn't have another 25 laps. Maybe we would have had something for the other two guys. Thanks, Dan, and thanks for joining us here each and every week for your news in motorsports. From the Speed Sport News Center, I'm Derek Pernasiglio. So long, everybody. Race fans, if you haven't signed up for the free daily presented by General Tire, then you're missing your chance to become a racing expert. Emailed to you each morning, this free source of motorsports news is a must for anyone who loves racing. From short tracks, pavement and dirt, to NASCAR and Formula One, and just about everything in between, The Daily has you covered. Conveniently sent directly to your inbox. Sign up free today at speedsport.com.